Hello and welcome to Cookies Game Point. Today we are going to take a look at the game Orbitalis, which is an early access game on Steam right now, so um, early access disclaimers do apply to this um, Let's Take a Look video. More information on that in the description below. So Orbitalis is a simulation game with puzzle elements and it combines the ideas of chaos and gravity, mixes them together, um, complex, having complex behaviors with simple rules. That's what um, Alan Zucconi was trying to aim for while making this game. So this game was actually made by him during the Ludum Dare 28 so that happened sometime in December 2013. The theme for that dare was um, you only get one. So based on this idea, the main objective of the game is to launch a satellite. You only have one shot at launching the satellite and you have to um, choose its angle, you have to choose its velocity, and you have to choose the timing at which you launch it. And you have to make it orbit for as long as possible based on those considerations. So um, this was part of the 48 hour compositions um, part of the Lutum Dare. And Alan Zucconi was uh, based, he based this game on the recent the then recent movie Gravity in which, you know, Sandra Bullock was stuck in space. So you kind of have the whole um, space and galaxies and planets and meteorites and things kind of idea here. So that's basically what Orbitalis is. Now let's jump into the game so I can show you what it's like. Let's go to the star chart. So the music just kind of died down a little bit there. I think the game needs to have some sort of normalization on its sound files. Now it's a little too quiet. It's strangely getting softer. It's kind of worrying. <laughs> okay, so this is the star chart. Um, Alan Zucconi does not like menus, which is why he went for the star chart design here in choosing your levels. As you can see, I've already unlocked a number of levels. I've played this game for around 40 minutes. 45 minutes or so, and yeah, um, as you can see, um, if I go to the side, it starts scrolling, and this bothers me a little bit, because in case I leave my mouse there by accident, it seems to just go on a continuous scroll, and I, uh, it's, it, I don't know how to stop it, and what if I just want to go back to a certain area? I don't know, I think this thing might benefit if it had a little scrolly bar here or something that you can click on so that you can skip to wherever you want to go or if it had some sort of dragging function rather than oh hey it's gonna move when I'm here. So another thing you might notice is that um, the borders of the game it, it doesn't fill up the whole screen. Um, it's still in its kind of flashy stage because this game was released as a flash game on Newgrounds and a bunch of other websites. I haven't played that version, so I don't know exactly what the differences are. I think the music is different because uh, Dose One, the one who made the music for this version of the game, he only um, joined the team in the month of March, if I'm not mistaken, based on, I'm basing this information on the blog post that I saw. So yeah, the music has to be normalized, as I've already said. And yeah, the, it doesn't fit the screen. I hope they fix this before the final release, but it's still in really early alpha, so this will definitely change over time. So now let's go into the first level and let me show you what it's like. Uh, also, something worth mentioning, the game has a ranking ranking system uh, based on how long your satellite orbits. So that brings a bit of a competitiveness to the game. Okay, let's go in. That sound also bothers me in <laughs> how it sounds like an error sound on Windows. But yeah, so here we are. Uh, this is the game. And as you can see, there's a red dot here. It's not a dot, it's not a little triangle. There's this giant red circle here, and there are white stuff here. So the game doesn't tell you what these are. You, you're you kind of left alone to figure out what the heck these things are. So essentially, these are floating rocks. And this is a planet, if I'm not mistaken. These, This is its gravity field. The rock, you can see its, um, its path, where it's going to go. And it has little tiny rocks there as well. And as you can see, it 
you can see the flight path of the satellite uh, based on how um, where how and where <laughs> you decide to launch it like the possible launch trajectories you can see the traje trajectories and if it's the little circle thing that you get that means you're gonna hit that thing and basically it's gonna end the game so yeah and as you can see there's a timer as well so you have to survive for a certain amount of time in order to complete the level so yeah the game doesn't explain any of this basically it doesn't explain very much and you're left to your own which i think is kind of it it doesn't help newbies out so i hope in the final version they do fix this because it's going to be a problem if you have people who are starting off not knowing what they're doing because what happened when i first started we're going to show you i'm going to demonstrate to you what happened when i first started okay let's role play here so when i first started i was just kind of like okay what the heck is this why is it changing when i go like that what does this line mean what does the dotted line mean what what does it mean when it's red like that uh okay let's click yeah, that's, that's basically my first try. My second try was kind of like, okay, so what the heck? Um, I'll just launch it randomly. What does that red line mean? What does that sound mean? What is my objective here? I read the description very briefly, so I was kind of confused in the beginning as well. So like, I, I think that's why a tutorial is very important, especially when this game especially as this game is very different from a lot of games there uh, that are available in the market today. Also, there's no option to um, leave the current level you're on while you're uh, in the game itself. You only have the um, option to leave the level after you've completed the level, which I think is kind of bad, especially when you're restarting one of your older levels. Oh, this is actually lasting pretty long. Wow, I hope I get a high score on this. Oh no. Oh no, please don't last too long. I need to finish this. I need to finish this video, guys. Oh no. So yeah, this game is actually quite beautiful, as you can see, and it, there's a sense of satisfaction when you see that your satellite is orbiting for a very long time, as you can see right now. And also the music becomes a little stronger as it lasts longer. I'm not sure if that's actually true. But the music is quite repetitive in a way, because uh, this is the only soundtrack there is for the whole game, and it gets kind of uh, redundant in the latter levels. But I, th I find this game very enjoyable in how pretty it is and how um, simple and how straight to the point it is. It's an interesting concept having um, the whole you only have one chance thing. But I think it gets a little boring on the later levels as I will demonstrate to you after this thing decides to stop and I don't think it's gonna stop. Well, I guess I'll just leave this here <laughs> for a bit then. So after looking around on the forums and stuff, Apparently, I have achieved what is called a stable orbit. So a stable orbit is when it loops infinitely and uh, it will not it will not crash into anything. So it will just continue until you choose to end it. And you can end this by uh, clicking the mouse button. Again, there was no um, tutorial for that or anything. So I didn't know about that until I Googled it up. And yeah. So we're going to end this since it's already been, uh, I think, more than an hour. And I guess I'll be in the, uh, the high score list by now. So let's end this. Ugh, this, this breaks my heart. This breaks my heart. How do I, where do, where do I even click? Do I click in the middle? <gasps> there we go. Okay, it says 35 minutes, but I swear I've been here for 60. That's a little strange. All right then, uh, at least I'm number nine on the, the leaderboards. Oh wow, that lag. That lag though, I think I have to restart the game. Be right back guys. 
And we're back. So I'm going to show you one of the ladder levels now after that whole stable orbit thing that I did. This is a level that I have not gone through yet, so bear with me. <clears throat> so, um, okay, this is a level that I have gone through actually and I have not finished. So, um, the game gets a little more difficult as you can see here. There's a lot more variables going on with uh, things moving around so much. And uh, the sense of satisfaction goes down a lot once you get to uh, these, these ladder levels because it essentially feels like a game of luck because you can't tell what exactly you're supposed to be doing and it's always this very difficult game of uh, trial and error. Wow, this is actually working pretty well. Okay, it's not. But yeah, you don't get a sense of satisfaction because you don't control a lot of a lot of things. You only control this one launch. I mean, that's the whole point of it, but if you want people to continue being interested in the game, I feel like you should give people a better sense of satisfaction by giving them a little bit more control. Like I'm not saying abandon the whole idea of you only have one chance. Maybe you can have a one chance at doing several things. Like maybe, okay, you have one chance to maybe shoot a laser so you can destroy something in your path. Or um, you have one chance to change the trajectory of your satellite by giving it maybe some sort of rocket boost or something. I guess that would make it a little more easy for people to feel a sense of satisfaction. But essentially this game is actually pretty interesting. Uh, it's still in early access so and it's in its early alpha so you can forgive it for a lot of things. I just hope that the final version will be a lot more clean and will have the sounds normalized and have a tutorial. And those are my biggest hopes for the game. So anyway, if you'd like to help out with the progress of this game before it becomes, before it goes into its final stages, then um, you can purchase the game for $6.99 on Steam right now, or your regional equivalent. And yeah, so this has been a quick look at the game Orbitalis. I think I'll try and follow its um, progress through the months. Through the months later, I can't. Uh, it's 3 a.m. I can't English anymore. <laughs> but anyway, this has been Cookie from Cookie's Game Point, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll just see you in the next one then.